Hello Route Managers! Welcome back to Ride with GPS. When you want to work with your route library, the first thing you need to do is sign into the club. We'll do that by clicking sign into club. Our toolbar at the top has turned yellow to signify that we're signed in. I'll scroll down to my route library here. And now that we're signed in as the club account, we have more options other than just viewing a route. We can see the privacy, have some checkboxes, and options at the bottom. By clicking some checkboxes, we've now selected three routes. We can add some tags to these routes. We can select from the list we've already created or type in a new one. Then click Add Tags. If you want to remove those tags, we can select those routes or all the routes. Click the Route Tags area. Select the tag to be removed and then click the Rem Tags button. From here, we can also set the privacy of routes so that anyone, club members, or route managers can see the routes. Let's select a few random routes here. Right now it's set to members. We'll expand this column. Right now I have a mix of members, managers, and we'll select one more to include public. We can change the privacy by clicking set privacy, and then select from our list of three options. Public means everyone can see it, route managers only, or club members only. Sometimes it may be useful to have only route managers be able to see a route if you're still working on these routes and don't yet want to reveal them to your general ridership. We'll select route managers and then click save. We can also change the location of a route. It doesn't change the route itself, just the location name. Let's select my Council Crest ride and change it from Goose Hollow Click Set City, let's change it back to Portland, then click Save. We can still use filters in the route library. Let's look for the Great Divide. We'll select them all. Now, with my selection of Great Divide routes, click Create Event, give it a name, date, and who can see it, and then click Save. This creates an event page. This creates an event page with these routes. Make sure you have events enabled for your club account. You can do this in the settings. And lastly, if you ever find you have a duplicate or you want to delete a route, I'm going to sort by name. See that I have an extra route here that I want to delete. And then select delete and OK. Be careful when using the delete because this cannot be undone. After you're done working with the route library and want to continue with your personal account, scroll back up to the top and click sign out of club. And that's how you manage your route library. Thanks for watching.